Okay, so I'm actually recording this time. It's the it's it feels like the end of the week, but it's only because we finished the part of training to, before nesting, where we'll actually be on the phones and doing the emails and that for the work. Like, but still in training, in training until um, the seventh, till the first day of my regular shift will be seven the seventeenth. But yeah, this is like uh, this was a this was like taking the test day and all that, and I did all right. So anyway, there's a moon. The day moon is apparent there if you look. And there's some sailboats on the water, and everything's blurry, and I'm shaking a lot. But there's some there's a sand tower. And then I'm noticing some buildings up that I hadn't seen before over there. See that one in production? Will it be affordable housing? Doubtful. Why? Because they're greedy, selfish sons of bitches. Now, is that the condos for the King and Dufferin probably one? I think that's what that is. There was a McDonald's there before. Anyway, um, I never went to it. Just If that's King and Dufferin, that's that King and Dufferin condo thing. And then over there you see Liberty Village in the distance and then... I hear a lot of noise going around. But yeah, um, look at the moon though. Can you see it? Look how blue the water looks. It's so blue. That's beautiful. So I've been quiet for a bit. That's just because I've been focusing as I'm going through training at the new job. Um, while going through that, I've also been like, oh, where am I going to bury my dad? You know, and oh, I gotta, you know, pay for, yeah, uh, pay for some plot somewhere. Maybe in the graveyard where my twin is, and I don't know, and oh, lots of things and stuff. But other than that, I mean, I'm okay. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about the job. I'm learning a lot of things. My job is over there <laughs> inside the apartment. I do not have quite the window view, as I said, because I'm, I've had to move everything around for the desk. But just to show that, so see, you can come into this. Oh, it's too hot. The heat is on on the street. No, but the heat is on because it's supposed to be on. It got too cold for a bit, but now we're gonna have a hot weekend, and then it's gonna be too hot in here. Oh my God, that view, right? So this is a cat tower I got them. I wanna, I'll move stuff around later. But this is again my book area. I got some socks here because I'm trying to fasten my feet. Um, my b books and some and a bit of an all stuff. Books, poetry books there, uh, you know, those are. And then this here, that was my workstation, or is my workstation. Then I have these lights that won't really, but see how my view, I don't get to see it while I'm working, but it's good, I should just focus on my job. I can stand up and look at it. Look at that. Um, room for putting stuff up over on the walls eventually and then fun ps4 even though i hardly play anymore and my my imac which is quite old but holding up and my macbook and my and then here's my book nook and journals and all that so i think i'm pretty uh settled in overall i'm excited about work it's exciting. It's exciting to to have a job and I'm looking forward to the first paycheck. And I'm also looking forward to doing well. I really want to do well. You can bet I want to get a whole bunch of these. And you're like, but where will they go? What, well, on what shelves? Because you're all packed up. In fact, you have too many books in those shelves, I noticed. Well, see, the thing is, eventually this apartment will probably be almost all bookshelves. That's my plan. I'm going to live with books and cat towers and maybe a couple places to sit. Um, with a bed for the cats to still enjoy. Um, but yeah, and the cats can lay on bookshelves and cat towers and... Because <clears throat> I'm probably, I really would like... Okay, first paying off bills, you know, check off the boxes for that. But yeah, I, I'm done work for the day, so I'm going to relax a bit. Um... I feel more energized right now, even though I still have a lot to do, because, again, I've got a plan to get a plot, I'm guessing, 
I should try to talk to Grand Fair because maybe it's still a possibility to put them up north. But I'm kind of thinking, well, what about me later as well? Maybe I should just get a plot in St. Thomas where my twin is. Not where she is, like in the same cemetery so that I have somewhere to go someday and I could go there with my dad. Um, not anytime soon, like I don't want to go there. You know what I mean, like a plot. And maybe if there's a couple of spaces it's for other, um, a few people, like for a couple other, <laughs> for us random um, orphans. But yeah. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that right now. Yay, work, goals, life, etc. Okay, bye. Oh, he sees the light from the phone somewhere, doesn't he? What do you, what do you see? Oh, or, or I see something down there. Who knows? He sees something. Oh my goodness. Oh, it could be anything. The glimmer. Look at the moon. Look at the moon. Look at it. It's full. It's beautiful. There's a traffic Friday night. There's my solar lights in my window. My solar lights on the balcony. But look at the moon. City skyline. But look at the moon. Look at the moon. The moon. That's matches. Raining big full moon. Mm -hmm. Look how adorable they are. There's Pico. And there's Vincent. Look at the picos. Yeah, yeah hi. Um, reflection of the morning sun. Uh, they're adorable. Smudge is on the cat tower, so she's not in view. The picos. In a minute, Vincent refuses to be seen and embarrassed. Look at the moon, it's nearly above the CN Tower. Look how the moon is nearly gonna be 
lined up with this CN Tower. It still has a few minutes to go. It's moving upward and then it'll be right above the CN Tower. And then it'll go up and over. It's quite the same. All of a sudden it's been fall. It's autumn. Really autumn. Look at that. Look at these trees. Look at them. Oh, look at the bursts of color. So it's very, very fall like starting to look. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Oh, that tree there. Huh. My dad's chimes. After Friday, I had, uh, on Friday, redid my nook. So now it's got the Himalayan rock salt lamp. Still got those above there, which are still, it makes it a nice corner. Bookshelves there, which I, I hate some books being so fur they're in the corner, but they do look, they're great. Really nice feeling. Poetry book case back where it should be. It feels right there. Um, so as you can see, a cozy space for reading and reflecting and writing. And I did some art there last night. And then, it's, and then of course, these great shelves. Oh yeah, and I've got my view back. Look at that view. My dad's chimes right above me again. As in, they didn't move, but I, I can see them and everything right there. Um, I can see the view. And apparently, autumn is blowing away. When I moved everything yesterday, the cats uh, are inevitably sometimes end up getting sick. Just because of the change. Then we have the weather. So that's that. That's my entrance into my um, book nook. And I moved this shelf this way because I didn't like it so long out where it um, interfered with um, the space to get in and put to whatever. And then over here we have Cat Town, Cat Tower Town. Vincent looking intently, Smudge and Pico. We do miss our Chai Chai. Um, I'm going to step outside. He's making a coffee but also Probably getting the rest of the bulk of that kitty cat um vomit. Well, these are the rest of the tires that they occasionally lay in. And I'm gonna step outside, guys. Watch out. So if it wasn't for the vomit, oh yeah, she is getting it. I I I, yeah, I just woke up. So I'm missing autumn. This is one of those uh, everywhere the leaves. the colorful leaves are going to blow off a lot of trees. We sometimes get one or two of these types of days, two or three, and then if you didn't get the autumn leaves while well, you could, they're, they're gone. Right? But it didn't seem that late already. Honestly, look how, look how tempestuous the, the lake is. Yeah, I was just about to have some coffee, but look at that condo here. So yeah, got it's like a tiny bit of rain. It looks scarier than it actually is. The winds are high enough to pick up a lot of uh, autumn leaves. We'll have another one where you really see a lot of, fl uh, of flying leaves. Oh, I can see the sheet of rain moving across. Yeah. I am happy to have my space back to this way. Not happy about why, but I'm accepting. Uh, like I'm in feelings of, I'm glad my space is this way and I'm thankful to have what I have and be where I am. But I don't want to talk about it right now. I'm just saying. They really did repaint that window. And I'm glad to see that I think they're going to put the solar panels back on. 
from what I can see, I saw them setting that up and they start to put the panels back on the building. Yeah, gave it a sprucing up. Okay, morning. Autumn leaves are already being blown around and up in the air from a little touch of rain, but a little bit of wind that is making the lake look rough this morning. It seemed to have just died down, but the wind chimes were going and the leaves were flying past. They're not all gone yet with this. As I was saying, we'll probably get a couple days where we have something like this happening and the leaves would be going by and the cats have stopped watching from the window so clearly the show is mostly over but they were watching intently vincent's still looking oh because he spotted this leaf this leaf right here vincent is it that leaf right there yeah it's that leaf <laughs> I was sent a box, but I, I've already packed everything up on the box, uh, in the original box, with the, well, I had help, my partner did it, with styrofoam, the original styrofoam, all the original packaging, so I was sent a, a label, this label, which could have been printed, it's on a sheet, like, printed, it's a printed paper label, I could have been emailed that label, and slapped it on the box days ago, but no, they sent me this label in a box that's smaller than this box, but slightly, like smaller than this box, not large enough to hold everything that's within this box, but still a big box, but l smaller than this, just so you know. And it was just full of like, uh, just some of that loose bag, um, not bubble wrap, but that air filled stuff, not enough that would have protected the equipment, no styrofoam, nothing that would have actually protected the equipment for a return, let alone uh, held all the box, the original boxes that this came in. This has everything that originally, the two, two boxes, plus the um, uh, smaller, uh, the, the, um, keyboard and all that just so yeah um instead of mailing me an empty box that wouldn't have been big enough anyway i'm glad i kept the original things they could have just emailed me this and i could have printed it off myself i have a freaking printer um yeah so fedex i've contacted them myself i gotta i'm hoping they get this picked up today i really want this out of the house i had said that i would never have a fed a wayfair box in my house again but yeah, they got me today when they sent me an empty box with that label. The most ridiculous company I've ever dealt with. This whole experience has been atrocious with and unprofessional and completely idiotic. I, 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 I'm, I'm waiting until I get paid before I leave a review. Let's just say that. But yeah, hopefully FedEx picks this up soon. I gotta wait for that. And then we can be done with this, you know? Okay, so the... Hi, I'm not videoing you fishing. Okay. And as you can see, it's taped up. That's the uh, return label. Call, um, FedEx nope. Ground. This is FedEx Ground we did call and tact FedEx Ground and this is for FedEx Ground. We did call and tact FedEx Ground and this is for FedEx Ground. This is what I was told would be coming to me. Is FedEx Ground. This is for FedEx Ground. FedEx Ground, and I phoned FedEx Ground. Express, I don't know why call. I'm so sorry, but this needs to go to FedEx, so. Okay. This one? Yes, one, this yeah. is the one, okay. yeah. Okay, thank you. Sorry thank that you. they messed you up there. <laughs> Yeah, we you did. just got to be clear when you I was problem. very clear, was, don't worry. She had to explain the time. I was very clear. She explained was the, very clear. the address and the zip code like seven times. And I even called to, and, 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 still wrong. and I even recalled and confirmed that this would be picked up. So okay. I'm sorry that they messed you about, but believe me, I let them know. Okay. There's a, yep. yep, thank you so much. And I, I can let them know. I, I can call FedEx and let them know they swayed you wrong if you, it, or you can let them know. Okay. Thank you so much. We'll take care of it. Stay right. safe. Bye-bye. Yeah. Have a good day. Here it goes. So they even messed that up. Fantastic.
It's gone. The box is gone. See, what you're really paying for is the view, you know? Like, you just want a place with a beautiful view, you know? You get the skyline, a bit of the lake over there. You know, it's just, it's all about the views here in Toronto. Just, you know, taking in that autumn foliage. Um, yeah, it's about, it's about the views for sure. Beautiful. Just stunning up here. Yep.
of Friday, October 28, 2022, 9.41 p.m. This is Smudges. I need to do an update video. Um, okay, because we're nearing the end of uh, October and a lot happened because I'm, I'm catching up the vlog since August and I'm about to do September vlog where I show my workstation and blah 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 and stuff has changed. So first of all, my book nook looks like this. I know, cat area, bookshelf, new Alice Wonderland tarot deck, new Light Sears tarot deck, um, bunch of stuff going on there. Um, Smudges, hi! I got rid of the office chair. There's some, an art book from seeing the Vincent Van Gogh thing tonight in there. Um, this is my area now. The, the, kid it? Um, the view, which is amazing, as you can see. I got my view back. Um, my dad's chimes are out there, so it's a bit messy right now. Um, I've also dropped a battery thing. I need to find it. I'm reading Picasso at the Laugh and Agile, a, a play I saw with my dad years ago. I've got books here, this here, and then I've got this really cozy spot. That box is there temporarily. It's part of like photos that um, came out of the closet for the, from my dad's things. I've got a whole bunch of things. This is my dad's um, fo photos, files, etc. So, as you can see, that work wall thing I had done is still there. And from there, we've got Himalayan rock salt lamp over here. We've got a tray to put some crystals and stones, which I actually have in bags out on my altar shelf. This is a memory um, thing, and this is for holding tarot cards. You can put some stones there, so for tarot readings, which I want to do. Um, like I said, I've moved the writing thing there. This is a great place to read. This is my dad's old chair that his dad had, and I, I would like that shelf more on display but it's a good spot for it and that wood actually matches that wood which matches that wood and now it's like I can sit here <laughs> and um it's a whole other area right I mean now you're here these are the other cards the moonology or oracle cards got here today as well there's an ancestry an ancestor's uh, tarot deck on the way, and a druidism one that reminds me of my dad. They both remind me of my dad. Um, they're coming, so uh, I'm looking forward to working with those. Some book, um, if I did book hauls, these are books I'd have to haul. Um, smelling good. Um, so yeah, this is my space, my, my personal space, revamped. You know, I got some art supplies because I was doing some watercolor painting with a friend for a bit there. Um, but yeah, this is my area. These are my paper journals. Um, it's different now, right? That is very cozy space, by the way. This is a very cozy corner. And yeah, and then just to update, I got the last pay from the job. Uh, today, I had to wait to see if I would get it or not because there's some sketchy reviews online. I got paid. Um, so I got paid one full pay and then one week pay. Um, it's okay, smudges. That's the buzzer skirter. Um, I did not get to keep the job. I did, uh, I do have stories about it. But, um, I didn't get to keep the job. So, yeah, um, my battery needs to be, I need another charger for my battery because I've dropped my battery. But, oh, Hmm. This battery's charged 100% on my phone. 
I'm watching Pulpy. Um, I got him on mute, but I, I need to, like, back it up to catch the whole stream anyway, so I missed a little bit. But I, I wanted to talk about this since it's Friday the 28th. Um, okay, so, isn't that a lovely bamboo thing? Uh, okay, so I did go out this evening, took a cab there and back and had major anxiety for two. Turns out it was a big deal. I got the VIP, which didn't turn out to be like very VIP-ish. Honestly, I guess I'm keeping it for this lovely, you know, our inspired thing. Um, the show is nearly done. So it was kind of like they didn't have any more Van Gogh posters. So I got a different poster. This one just very interested in me opening and closing that door. Won't she? So there's this book from the Immersive Van Gogh or Van Gogh. I think they pronounce it Van Gogh in the emails because they're like, you're going to um, G. Van Gogh or whatever. But that was Van Gogh. Um, we always said Van Gogh, but yeah, you're welcome. Why does it say? How many times is it going to prompt me to do that? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. No. I'm like, what are they wanting me to do? Yep, 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 yep. Good, good, good. Is it done now? Okay. It looks like it's airing out because... Okay. So, there's this beautiful book that I just... Oh, shoot. I just went to the very, very beginning of the live. Um, it's a beautiful book. And it's um it shows from the exhibition and then it's got these beautiful pages with like quotes and stuff. Um and then it's showing the exhibition in other places I think. And then it'll have information about the people who put it together. So it's a really lovely hardcover book. I'm glad I I ordered it there. Like I ordered it with my ticket so I nearly got the Frida one and then I didn't even though I wanted to but I was like well I'm going to see Van Gogh, Van Gogh not Frida and so I'll just get the one that applies to. You can see I kind of like them though. I mean I got that. I've got my pins are in a box and anyway. Um, wow, I gotta sort shit out soon. <laughs> um, right, right, Smudge? We're gonna look at Smudge for a bit. So, here's the update. Everything is in this area now. Oh, and I know it's dark. I know I showed you already, but this is, like, my computer area now. See, I can see the CN Tower. See, I get to see the CN Tower again in the skyline. I've got my globe out here, my world globe, which I've had since my, since moving to an apartment when I left the, f okay, um, I, so I got my, yeah, so I'm here, this is me now, and I kind of, I kind of do like the space, actually I like a lot more. With the chair in the area over there. And my poetry being back there again. That just seems right. The battery's low. I've got extra batteries, but it's kind of fitting that the battery's low. So, yeah, I wanted to update before the end of the month as I'm doing all these videos. We're going to look at Smudge again. She has been stressed out. And so I've got the stress reliever spray. And, um... It works. It does calm her down. Uh, the treats, they don't like. They won't do the treats, but 
the spray, which is like lavender and some other stuff. And it's supposed to calm them down, remind them of the mother, I don't know. It it does help because she was a bit nuts earlier. She has, we caught it a few days ago where I was made aware of it. She had been licking the fur off her stomach. And it's likely due to grief and anxiety separation from what happened is that I, I think it started when autumn really swept in. When fall came in and we get the winds stirring up the leaves up into the air and they would float in front of the, I mean, we're up many floors. They'd float all around and land on the balcony. And um, one of the things that would happen is her and her sister would run to the door to watch it. And that doesn't happen now. And even Smudge finds it difficult to be at the door to watch it because nobody runs there with her. And I know right after she, her sister was gone, she was sad and tried to be there in, in, at the door and it was there was empty space. And I just think that Autumn really stirred up a lot of grief for her. I do believe animals grieve. Um... And I think that's what she's going through. So, when I realized how bad it was getting, about how much fur she was licking off, I was like, no. Like, I, I would be heartbroken if something happened to her. If she went downhill like that. Because, um, the dynamic with the boys is still good, but they don't do what, they aren't her sister, what her sister would do to keep her in line and keep her calm and all that. And there's no way to shuffle the hierarchy because they, they just can't figure it out that way. Um, because Smudge was never the bossy assertive one. So, anyway, the spray seems to help. And I will continue to do things to help her. Actually, it's kind of fitting for it to be found now, figured out now. When I can, like, actually concentrate and not be, like, distracted by, oh, earning a living. But no, I mean, like... Number one is that our animal, uh, that that my family is okay, my cat fam. So yeah, we're we're working on that with her. It's 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 interesting because the first time I sprayed them with the spray, um, I'm gonna buy the drops actually and see how that works because I can last a lot longer. And sprays are not very fun for cats. Um. Uh. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Um. I forget. Anyway, that's where we're at there. The other thing about the end of the... Okay, so... The job thing. I want to talk about it. And I'm just going to see if I have enough time before the camera just stops. Um, I have some... I definitely could write a review about it. Let's just say the end result is that... Um, I mean, even these shelves were from that company that I was hired by and that I bought, I was a customer prior to. Now, with my knowledge of how customers are treated and how we're expected to treat them, putting metrics above all and profit um, against actual customer uh, care, um, and the fact that um, employees are treated so badly and that there's a lot of dyna dynamics within employees within the company that is horrible. Um, I have had my, I, 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 when I was terminated, I didn't do it out of spite, but I, I requested that my account be deleted, my purchasing account, my, the account that I've had for years, the stuff I'd bought. Um, I'm no longer going to be a customer of theirs ever again. So I, I made that decision based on there's like so many reviews since September alone of people um, calling out the company on things that I actually witnessed myself. So um, my experience wasn't too unique. It happened in correlation with many um, layoffs going on while they also were hiring. And um, some other things happened. I mean, I got even I have criticism regarding the training. Um, it's the most inadequate that I had ever seen. The most unprofessional. There, there was basically the only professional or smooth running 
part of the whole thing was being hired. And then from during the training, very unprofessional, very, it was chaos as far as so I, I've been in a training program for a job that was in hospitality before and it was actually so much better and so much there's just something really it was really it was bad <laughs> but aside from that I did learn things I did learn skills within like the um, the software and the programs I used I learned um, I learned a lot about the company um, because I did a lot of, um, I did, a, I did over 200 hours of, of learning modules on my own even, which apparently is not very good to the trainer. Uh, they didn't like that, but I did, I, I, I really was, I wanted to do well. I, I learned a lot of stuff. Um, I even, even though we were tossed to the phones right away without any experience and we didn't get shadowed, we didn't like have that kind of help. Um, I, I did get a call in where I, I, I did, did get put on the recognition wall for a, um, a customer, uh, relentless customer focus. And, uh, that's one of the pillars that they had, but that is on the grounds of what they also fired me for. Yeah, I was terminated, um, on the last day of training. Um, the last day before going into like, uh, to, to my schedule. So, um, they did a scary warning the day before and it was BS. Um, I showed up for work cause I clock in here at home cause I never missed any time or anything like that. I was never late or anything. Um, I showed up and, uh, I don't think they expected me to, I think in their meeting that was very unprofessional, they expected that I would be intimidated to just quit. But, um, and usually I might have an attitude of, you can't fire me, I quit. But I just thought this was one of those things where they wanted to put me in my place maybe or something. And, you know, and once I got to the, um, got in, onto my shift, I wouldn't have to deal with certain people anymore. It would be fine. Um, like, or they wouldn't have to deal with me. Whatever the thing was, there was some weird vibes. I mean, we're talking within the slack, there was... I was ignored for like hours without getting help for things and other people or I'd remark about something about clock in and somebody else would have the same issue and right after me and I would get like period response and the other person would get exclamation points and emo emojis. There's just some micro passive aggressions that would happen but they were very noticeable and um, when I got my wall recognition, nothing was shared in the chat, but somebody else got one from one of the trainers and it was shared and it was, it was very odd. I thought that was odd. I thought when my schedule changed, disappeared or whatever, it just went into like, that was odd. I mean, I was keeping an eye on things. I was, I was noticing things happen. And, um, so I wasn't surprised that this happened, but I was also still surprised. <laughs> I, um, I had, I had, I was improving, like, as far as metrics, and they fired me for something. I literally got a call in from a customer saying that I did great, um, to an employee outside of our department. So, I mean, yeah, it, it was the most bizarre experience ever. It was kind of like, um, it was very, uh, and, you know, so when I was told that I was out, I was, um, I, my part, the person I live with, my partner is, was here and we packed everything up properly in the original packaging. So it was all safe and secure and it was all taped up. And then I was told I'd be contacted. I wasn't. I had, I badgered them. I badgered them. I badgered them regarding returning the equipment because they could have charged me for the equipment. I, I badgered them to find out about my final pay because I didn't get contacted by anyone professionally about, um, my exit, um, so that I would have the proper information. I mean, usually even if somebody wants to be brief with you, they'd be say, you will be paid on this pay cycle blah 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 it was like I had to let them know I'm owed the holiday by law by candle law and I, I I gave them the employment standards sections 
Um, I am required to be paid for this amount of hours for a work day because I was there, you know, different things. I it just, I'm, I'm required to be paid within seven or days or, or, um, by the next pay cycle, whatever is later. So that was yesterday or today, Friday. So, uh, it was, it was kind of like, and I would just get these emails and they, and they were like, so they were, they were all over the place. They, the, it was like, if I hadn't been pushing to get responses and action, nothing, I don't think anything would have been done on time. And I think that's how that makes sense for some of the reviews I saw about people not getting paid or different things happening, getting the runaround. Um, I could see that totally happening. There was a lot of chaos within the company as far as restructuring had just happened and there were more and more layoffs. I mean, it's just a mess. It's a freaking mess. So partly I'm thankful that I don't have that job in that company because could you imagine investing more time in it um, and then losing it somehow? But the other thing that, the, the thing that hurt obviously was the pay, not having the pay losing the opportunity to work um at a job i wanted it really badly i i wanted it i i was ready for it i i showed up i was learning i could do it i could do the job and i think i would have gotten better at it i did have a bit too much empathy and perhaps they shouldn't say that empathy is one of their core things if they're just going to actually not actually want you to have that. It seemed like um, a couple people were more um, uh, uh, corporate-y. What is that? They say corporate people. Let's just say not good. It, it wasn't good. But that's fine. I mean... I am disappointed about the pay, extremely. I mean, I was gutted. I I wanted this. I knew I could do this. It felt very um, unfair. I sensed that my trainer was actually probably jealous of my pay rate because if we look at what they may have been given three years ago, it probably even now barely is about what I was making to start. And that I think was a bothersome thing. And somebody who witnessed the behaviors um, and was giving me feedback, who has had a lot of years in customer service said, I think they saw it that you could see right through them, that you could see them for who they were. And um, people with that type of um, personality get rid of people that can see who they are um it did seem quite like on that level and even in the slack channels it seemed like that so i don't know it could all it could have been a few things like that um it was very disconcerting to watch it happen to feel it happen and to, to be participating and giving m myself and my time and my effort and my knowledge like giving learning that learning things when really it did seem like they were just waiting for an opportunity to give an excuse that they would decide would be the reason why they would get rid of me even though you can get rid of anybody when they first start a job for any reason but they were looking for something to use as a reason it's just ironic or funny that the reason they picked is something I actually got commended for so they had to like just completely ignore it because it, it went against the narrative they were building about me and I don't know it was, it was kind of there was some ridiculous stuff that happened um I learned a lot let's just say I learned a lot and I could write quite a review about them the good things and the bad things. Um, but I did have stars in my eyes. I did really like the money. I was about to totally, totally buy into the company. Um, the company uh, mindset. I was there. I was ready for it. Because to me, it was a chance for autonomy. It was a chance for working toward goals, financial goals of clearing up debt. It was a, 
it was a chance to be able to afford to bury my dad. You know, it was kind of like from little things like helping to pay down debt faster and that to self-esteem to maybe um, to actually be employed and be supporting myself on my own to the idea of even probably what I had wanted was to be able to live here with the cats on my own um, and support myself. Um, it... It was a big, it was a lot to put on one job, but it, it was what I had, uh, I had a lot of dreams about it. Like, I had a lot of, like, hope about it, and I really wanted to put everything toward it, and, um, that was dashed quite quickly. In the same week that that happened, um, that I was, I, I did receive my father's reissued checks from February. Um, they were his owed CPP, his pension in old age, which he wasn't in old age, but, you know, after 65, um, because I didn't get them in February and he, he did die in February. They came to me right after I was fired. So it's like, it was a mixed message. <laughs> it was like, wait, are you proud of me that I had a job or is this like a pity consolation like, dad, like, what, what, what was this about? But it must have, it, the timing of it, I mean, it, it was, it got me out of the house a couple times, so I did, I did see autumn leaves, and I put, pasted some in my paper journal, and, um, yeah, it got me outside a couple times, and it, it the, the one check did help for, um, the person I live with to be able to get a, um, a new PlayStation because they, um, they work all the time. And because of my check, that meant that the one check they got from their part-time that they had earned quite a bit, let them buy the PlayStation easily. Whereas, you know, so that worked out really well. And then, and then I grief, um, sorrow stress bought books and tarot decks and <laughs> different things oh and necessary things too like the filing cabinet and different things there were different things that were splurged upon but um I also set aside the money for toward end of month costs which sorry the end of the month um this battery is definitely going to die soon, but I just want to say I was embarrassed to talk about this. I, I, I'd like to pretend like it never happened, but I can't. It's, I, I mean, I like that I know Citrix eye gel and, um, and all that stuff now. I know about working double monitors and, um, all that stuff now. Oh my gosh, a person from the past has just... Wow, hello stranger. Wow. Um, wow, that's quite the timing. Um, huh. So, um, that is weird. Anyway, uh... I didn't want to write up, I didn't want to talk about it, but, and I still am vague. There's so much more I could flesh out about it, because I did keep, hello, I keep documentation, and I keep everything about stuff. So there is definitely, um, you know, I kept what I could, except for, you know, what, what I couldn't. <laughs> I, I do you feel quite defeated in some ways? I mean, I even applied to more jobs after, right afterward again. And, um, you know, it's a no, it's a no, no, no. So it is a, it, it sort of is, ha has me, I'm having to like rethink my whole brain again about what I'm doing with my time and how am I doing with my time. <laughs> How am I doing? <laughs> um, 
writing is still important and, and these books and things I have surrounded myself with mean something and are important as far as like use and my soul like what I feel connected to so I'm and I do feel better about this space being like this now um, it feels right to have that area over there for reading and, and, and a special place and this place over here and being able to use a desk for journaling and art and different things so um yeah um but yeah I'm I'm not gonna pretend like I'm not completely devastated to have lost the chance to earn that amount of money right from home like from my own space here it's gutting and it also has deeply affected how I feel about my potentials to, 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 to support myself further. But it's also helped me feel a little bit more brave about some of the things I want to try. So I'm going to keep that in mind. And, um, I get this view again. So it's not all bad, you know, it can't be all bad when your view is still this. At the end of the day, you know, I'm okay. And I'm still doing all right. We are able to support ourselves. It's just, it was feeling mighty fine for a bit there. For like a brief weekend. Week. Um, okay, so I went out today and I saw an art thing. And, um... That was also pushing myself. I, I have an intense amount of anxiety. But I've got this challenge for walking. And it's Hobbit, Hobbit Lord of the Rings related. So that's kind of gives me a connection to my father as well as a challenge for myself. And oh, he's home. So I'm done talking. But I just want to catch you up before Nana rhyme. Okay, bye. I had turned on the light and woken them up. But this is how they're sleeping right now. <laughs> wow. Disturbed awake. Oh, there's Pico in the middle of the smudge. And then there's Vincent. And everybody would like me to turn the light off, wouldn't you? But I I had to disturb them because I wanted to get a video of them and photos. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> um my kid is. The kid is. Hi. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm just, just doing mommy things. Hi. Okay. <laughs> um, so, reading's still slow. That's a play I saw with my dad years ago. I sent my aunt a pic of the cats just now, so she um, replied with a heart. <laughs> She knows I was going through something with uh, Smudge having stress and grief, licking her stomach, um, licking the fur off her tummy, and it, it was very stress. I was so upset for her. So, oh yeah, you can see the lights see her deck right there. Um, there were fireworks for the stadium earlier. Um, this candle smells really good. It's of leaves. <laughs> it's a Bath and Body leaves candle. Um, okay, so what was going on was um, fireworks over the stadium. Red and then white. And there's still some fireworks smoke that was in the air. Just going that way but um so I'm still um I've been sad the past couple days uh okay I went to the immersive Van Gogh Van Gogh Van Gogh um the amount of anxiety I felt to go was a lot but I am still glad I went and that I was there I mean not glad I'm just at least I was there I experienced it it I would highly recommend Nui Blush, uh, but I'm glad I got the book for it 
I've already been over this. Um, otherwise, I'm thinking about how NaNoWriMo Eve is coming. That's Halloween. <laughs> Very important day to begin writing. The empty chair. I've got another cabinet coming that will have the printer put on it back where it was on the other side of this shelf over by the entertainment center where he keeps his work computer because that way the printer isn't on the floor and we can start scanning some of these old photos that um, belong to my granny Poland and my dad carried forward which I'm going to put up on Ancestry.com so, yeah, there's, this is my corner. Those are bags of sage. I, I. Um, I don't think that works anymore, that battery thing, since it fell, it hasn't been charging. I don't know if it's just this battery, actually. Maybe it's the battery itself that I should maybe test it with the, I don't know. Anyway, um, that stuff is dad-related stuff to deal with. Um, Yeah, I'm sad. Fortunate to have this little area of my little sanctuary here with a great view. But I am I am definitely falling into a cavernous you know I I know that I that NaNoWriMo will help writing saves me and that a routine of writing mixed with reading and walking, going for walks, will do wonders. Even though I felt extreme anxiety going for a walk. Um, I know that I can still go for a walk. I just got to go for a walk. Um, it's that easy and that hard. Um, I feel isolated again. I I was feeling somewhat connected to but I feel on my own again. And that's just the nature of being human and you know, I got a piece of hair to put outside. Just a that's that's part of being human. That's part of and not being in a particularly engaging relationship at all. I'm in a very, I'm in a fancy uh, roommate situation. At least, at least I'm loved, and I, I do care for the person as well and love them as well. But it is not the same as when you are with somebody that you are mad, mad about. You know, I'm not mad about the boy. Just on my on my own, but with somebody, it's been a, it's like I said, it's been lonelier than any time period I've ever felt. But look at this. I mean, I've got this wonderful area. Who am I to complain and scoff when this is amazing? The view, <laughs> the delights. <laughs> I yearn for conversation but I've forgotten how to have them with people 
like the meaningful ones where I I forget to I don't have them enough to I've ran, ran out of practice um, and so then when someone who is of creative creativity and intelligence and has spark comes along I'm I'm so excited that there is somebody like that and reminiscent of what I have in me that I I am not able to match it anymore I I've lost so much <laughs> spark you know there's that fire within you that you always have that um part of your soul um, and I know it's there and every now and then it's been excited it's been somebody's it's been sparked but it goes out so it go it gets snuffed out so quickly for me these days because disappointment and loss and loss and um, loneliness and despair and yet part of me is fighting like I'm getting these books that I really want to read and I know this sounds just like material things but I'm trying to keep myself connected I've got these beautiful decks on the way these tarot decks ones I've ever received and some that are coming I'm trying to reach out and connect I have these ideas and things I do want to still to achieve or do and I'm trying to fight against that the negative stuff of of failure or loss and just like keep going because things I, there's so much to be grateful for and there's so much possible that I'm just not seeing or feeling right now because I'm I'm so utterly, I'm, 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 I feel so, I feel so lonesome I could die, is that, I don't mean to quote lyrics, I feel so lonely, not lonely in this, like, I'll take anything that comes my way, no, I mean, it's hard to explain, it's just, and it's okay, there's, like, I've, I've been solitary for a very long time, this is just different because as time passes I would I imagine myself being able to share and express more of who I am with someone um whether that be a group of people or more people in my life that matched with me. I don't I don't know what to say it's um I I don't want to sound like I'm just complaining because that's how it appears I am so fortunate I mean, look, I I may not have bought clothes for myself, but I sure have adorned myself with many books that I, can, that I appreciate. Um, I'm starving for something that I wonder if it will ever be for me again. And the missed opportunity, the lost opportunities to do some things and to attain autonomy in one way has uh, affected me deeply. I'm grateful, I have to remember to be grateful for what I have and where I am and getting out there with the walking challenge will make um, a difference and I'm so glad NaNoWriMo is here in a couple days and I'm just going to keep pushing forward and through this sadness and this loneliness and remember that um, I am me I am still here and here and even though my anxiety is worse now and I feel like even though I feel like I'm like I'm backsliding into some uh, 
I'm going to watch a bunch of movies on Netflix. Fuck this being in my thoughts and feelings right now. 11.56 p.m. on the 31st of October, 2022, and I'm going to do NaNoWriMo at midnight, the beginning. I'm so grateful I get to write. I need this right now. There's a smudges. My NaNoWriMo poster arrived today. And some beautiful books arrived too. Secret Garden, Alice Wonderland. They go together with Peter Pan. Okay, I'm gonna write in three minutes. Mm -hmm. 